So continuing the same topic, filtering the data and accumulators, let us see what accumulator sees and how to use the accumulators. Um, and uh, one of the requirement to, as part of our problem statement is to get the uh, count of completed orders. And the people tend to develop code like this. Create a variable in Scala where orders completed count equal to zero. It has to be where because we we have to um, increment uh, this variable, and then people tend to do this. Okay, whenever uh, data is filtered, they try to get the count, and this has to be part of uh, uh, if condition. Uh, but let us see whether this work or not whether orders completed count will be uh, incremented or not okay so i'm launching uh, spark shell now it will just take a moment once the spark is launched we have to Uh, create uh, RDD for orders. This I have shown you in the past itself, so I don't I don't want to go back and type one character at a time. I will just copy paste from Sublime Text to that. Okay, now the orders RDD is created, and we have already seen the filter logic working earlier um, and and uh, let me paste this code we just added a new variable orders completed count to the program and try to see if it will increment or not now if you the code is executed uh, sorry the code is not executed yet e um, even though we have used filter and it returns as of now uh, the code is not executed the code is just uh, compiled into something called DAG, which you don't need to break your head at this time. Only when we see the action, the code will execute. So to invoke the action, one of the action which we can invoke is orders filtered dot count to get the number of records. So orders filtered have thirty thousand four fifty five records. As this this part is executed. Uh, and then count is invoked on top of it um, even orders completed count has to be incremented it has to be greater than zero but if we see here orders completed count is still zero the reason is uh, um, uh, because the, uh, there are certain APS which will be executed on remote nodes there, there, there is some code which will be executed locally. We will see that. Okay, so I am exiting out of it. I am launching the Spark shell again. Okay, so that I can copy paste this this one to launch the Spark shell again. So Spark shell is launched. Take this tracking URL. Okay, I'm copying this tracking URL. Go going to the browser, pasting it here. And as of now, we haven't executed anything. But still, if you go to the executors, there is one executor which is already created. It haven't executed anything. Just an executor is created. Now, if we copy paste this code. To create orders RDD. Okay, so SC Spark context dot text file is API on Spark context to create RDD if um, called orders. And uh, as I have been saying, it will not execute immediately until we invoke an action. As text file is not an action, it will not be executed immediately. It will just create a DAG. Uh, by compiling this uh, API and uh, 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 keep track of these things so that 
whenever action is invoked all these things are executed as per the dag don't break too much uh, don't break your head too much about dag that is not that important for the certification perspective that's why i'm not getting into the details now but just remember that until there is an action invoked the code whatever using spark apis will not be executed at all so even at this time it just created dag called orders and it will be executed only when action is invoked what is the action first take uh, collect save as text file etc okay uh, that you can confirm by going back here and refresh this page and still there is nothing shown here now let me go back here and then execute this code also so this is simple scala code where i have created a mutable variable and assign zero to it i am copying that here so this is the local variable which is being executed as part of this uh, spark session which is also known as driver program it, it is nothing but driver program uh, so if you create a, a variable in the driver program uh, it is not necessary that uh, these variables can be uh, or will be um, used at, at the time of uh, uh, invoking spark apis once this local scala variable is created now i am executing this code snippet and if you interpret this snippet orders is nothing but rdd which is spark data structure and filter is the api on top of rdd and as part of the filter we are trying to do certain uh, validation whether the order is completed or closed or not as filter is spark api um whenever action is invoked this filter will be executed as part of this executor okay so this executor will take care of execution of that filter i copied it that and pasted it now here and uh, uh, orders filtered is also uh, R, um, variable for rdd and as filter is not action it is not executed immediately now i will be invoking an action dot count to just get the count of orders filtered okay ideally uh, as action is invoked um, as the code will be executed even orders completed count has to be greater than 0 okay if it is not greater than 0 that means it is not executed at all now if i hit enter orders filtered dot count you got 30455 records also go back here and refresh this page you would see that job is executed on the cluster and this is the um executor uh, on which the uh, uh, the spark apis are executed you can also get the um, the flow of execution you can see here text file is invoked Uh, to read the data and then uh, data is filtered okay so now the execution is done and you can see the uh, count of orders filtered as 30455 now if you take this scala local variable and paste it here ideally if it has uh, executed if it is executed it should be greater than 0 it could be any value greater than 0 but in this case it's only 0 the reason is orders completed count is just a local variable that is um, uh, that is applicable to the driver program now if i want to just increment orders completed count like this it will be incremented without any issues okay so orders completed count is a local variable which which is accessible only to the Uh, driver program if you try to use it uh, use uh, the local variables like this uh, for the increment purposes and all as part of the uh, spark apis it will not work that's where accumulators come into picture so now i am going back to sublime text and instead of uh, assigning to assigning zero like this i am using 
sc dot accumulator so sc is nothing but spark context it has an api called accumulator and it can take uh, one or two arguments uh, the mandatory argument is the initialized value which is uh, zero in this case and then you can give a readable name orders completed count okay and then you can actually uh, this has uh, you can define this as immutable val orders completed count um, um, and now let me copy paste this code first okay you can see orders completed count is of type accumulator of int and it is initialized to zero okay and then i can uh, i can re-execute this orders filtered code and then get the count of it you got 30455 and if you try to get orders completed count you see it has given 68883 because the filter is executed on each and every record only certain records um, uh, which are complete and closed are part of orders filtered rdd okay that's why orders filtered gives 30455 whereas uh, orders completed count is 68883 so it is working accumulator is working but there is a bug in the code now we have to fix it we just have to increment it whenever this condition is true otherwise we should not so i am cutting this line and here i am creating a variable val is complete is completed order okay so in this case i am creating a boolean variable by name is completed order and if is completed order is true then i am just incrementing this orders completed count accumulator okay otherwise i don't want to um, if you want i can uh, we can create more accumulators well orders non completed count equal to sc dot zero comma orders that are not completed a number of orders that are not completed okay so here if uh, uh, is complete order is true i am incrementing this one else i can increment this one and filter always have to return uh, boolean uh, uh, boolean value uh, in this case based upon the if condition either it will be uh, returning orders completed count or orders non completed count uh, if we leave the code like this but we have to return boolean uh, which we already captured as part of is completed order hence i am just Returning this one, okay, is completed order. As is completed, is completed order is of type boolean. Um, we are satisfying the uh, um, return uh, type requirement for the filter, and hence it will work. Now, if I copy paste this code, and then this one. And if you immediately look into this uh, accumulators, you can see they are zero. Even though I have executed this orders dot filter, still it is zero because the um, the DAG is not executed yet. Until action is performed, uh, even this filter logic and all will not be executed. It will only be compiled into DAG. Okay. So now to execute just to for uh, just for demonstration purpose i can invoke an action like count and hit enter 
now the filter is a, uh, the filter uh, logic is executed and the count is 30455 which is correct and now if i actually look into non completed count and completed count you see the actual uh, non completed count and completed count you can also go to the web ui and refresh this page pick the latest execution because we have executed several times um, just pick the latest one uh, get into the stage and uh, you can see accumulators details as part of uh, the web ui also okay so this is how you can use accumulators um, as part of your um, uh, your program to get information such as uh, uh, orders completed or closed uh, um, while invoking the filter okay so this is how you should be able to use the accumulators um, for some uh, certifications uh, they are explicitly mentioned as part of the syllabus for some it does not however it is important to understand the concept of uh, accumulators and you should be able to use these accumulators in any spark api we have only seen as part of the filter but if you want to um, use accumulator at the time of map also uh, here you can just break the code like this uh, have multiple lines and uh, write whatever and logic you want and then uh, start uh, incrementing the accumulator uh, whatever you want to increment for that so it can be used in any transformation and action but you will only see the accumulator values after the corresponding actions are executed which invokes the uh, transforms which include um, accumulators in them otherwise if the program is not executed accumulators will not be incremented which means until action is performed accumulators will not be uh, incremented or updated